Hey guys, I'm Kate. Uh, today I'll be looking at the running records. I myself have done them as a child and also witnessed them whilst on placement um, multiple times. Um, I decided to do the running record because I find it very beneficial, not only as documentation for student development to show the school and parents where the child is at, but also for the teacher and the student to find out where they're at and the development that they're, they're on, where they can pick the correct books that are not too hard or not too um, low for them. Um, I found there are a lot of conventions whilst completing a running record that help um, schools be consistent. So as students move through the grades, uh, teachers are able to easily read other teachers' running records as the conventions are the same. It is a way for teachers to assess student skill. Uh, the Fontes and Pinnell one, which I have seen multiple times, include uh, comprehension questions for each book and students will not move on until they complete each section um, successfully. Um, if you have a look, I'll just turn the screen and you can see that this is a running record, a blank one. Um, so it has errors, ratios, accuracy. Um, so here would, there would be the story and this is where you would mark the child um, with the running record um, conventions here. So yeah, that's why I decided to have a chat about running records. I think they're quite beneficial for students and teachers.